Yeah, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chadish. We're back at it again with the next event update. We got ourselves a big old dungeon, the Water Mummy. It's back at it again. Um, it's time to get it done, baby. So uh, this is uh, one time out of the month if you guys have been paying attention. I think it's one every four to six weeks, it seems like, um, that they do a a seven-day secret dungeon. Not a three-day secret dungeon, but a seven-day secret dungeon. And this is definitely one that I'm kind of super excited about. Uh, for those that are familiar uh, with the Educate and Dominate series, they went ahead and that you know, was a unit that I was uh, discussing with. So I'm happy to have it available, especially since it is a newer monster. And um, this may be a great opportunity for you to stock up on them in case they ever change. Not just this unit, but any other unit of its element so that you have the fodder to skill it up and be able to util utilize it to your advantage. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the monster. Um, as you can see guys though it will be available for seven to ten days and for those that are new to the game welcome um you know definitely something that you can you're more than welcome to go for um but it is going to be quite the challenge obviously for the people that have been playing for quite some time this is a perfect element for the secret dungeon and as you might have guessed uh, the since it is a water-based unit you know having the high quality uh wind aoe based unit is going to definitely speed up your process as far as clearing this so you can get the uh uh, fodder get the mana um, as soon as possible. So let's take a look. Let's take a look Where's it hiding? Yeah, buddy There we go. There we go. All right, so Nubia Nubia is in the house here um, an HP based unit um, with an interesting uh, skill set to say the least um, again, uh, I did talk about it in the educate and dominate so um, we'll go ahead and readdress it for those that didn't catch that video uh, with Oh My God Bomber. Um, it looks like it attacks twice and deals deals damage according to the max HP. If I can click it, there we go. And then also deals continuous damage once for a 20% chance. Has an ability here that allows you to attack all enemies and disturbs their HP recovery for two turns, uh, which is nice. An AOE hit point disturb. Always can use that. And again, this is... Uh, this is based on your max HP. So two of its main skills based on max HP. Definitely nice considering that the monster is an HP based unit. And if you thought that wasn't enough, then you got yourself the ability to freeze, 25% um, chance to freeze in any given attack. So, you know, my thought process was if anyone was ever, you know, ever able to use this, since it has a built in stun proc and has an AOE, um, I really thought that this would might be something to play around with on the violent side. Um, you know, obviously something to be concerned about. Um, the, the the speed of the unit, base speed is a little bit low. So I think if people were going to try to make this work, I think they would have to, you know, need some really, really high quality units to make up for the lack of stats um, that it's come up with. But I'm curious to see what kind of damage it can do. You know, I haven't, uh, I haven't been able to play around with it. You know, obviously there's a lot of... Um, you know, when you're trying to take advantage of the max HP, you know, some people have the opportunity to, to kind of make of a, a bruiser kind of style with the HP, crit damage HP. Uh, most people, if they're trying to use it as a tank, you know, they're going for the triple HP. So I'm curious to see what, what people kind of play around with or if they're going to get an opportunity to play around with. Um, resistance leader skill, it's nice, 38%. Again, though, you're not going to be in too many situations um, where you're going to be able to take advantage of this and you're, unless you're, you know, have a, some kind of a fun base team in, uh, in like a Guild Wars um, setting or something like that. But um, again, it is a free unit. We got to take advantage of a seven day dungeon and, you know, obviously, um, you know, bring those Lucians, you know, bring those Teshars, you know, whatever you got. Um, this is, this could be the, this would be the way to go. These are the water based seven day secret dungeons are my fun, are the, are the, the funnest I like because again, um, you know, for, for a lot of the people that are that are in game, these are you know less than one minute clears um, because of the strength illusions and, and, and whatnot. So I'm super excited for everybody to get that out. So my question to you is, guys, uh, for all of you that are watching this video, um, how many you're planning on? Are you going to be firing? You know, are you going to be uh, how do I say this? Are you going to be farming this the whole way through or just enough to you know six star next unit or are you actually going to be testing it out uh, you know my question for the people that are testing out what's your what's your goals you know what's your what's your rune ideas and how you're going to go about it what kind of teams you're going to use it for i would love to hear from you guys as you guys know i love to interact with you i'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments your theory crafting 
Uh, put it all down there below in the comment section so we can get back at that as soon as possible, okay? Looking forward to hearing what you're gonna do. Boom, that's it. I am done. It's your boy Childish from Childish Place. Check it out. Take care, and we will see you guys in the next event update. I'm out.